Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tales of Symphonia. Destroy El Tessa's house. Let me guess. He's going to go forward and immediately go right and around the world. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I was going to be like, hold the fuck on. I was joking. Where is he going? <laughs> and then he went to the land. Hello? Cutscene? Is that you? Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. finally. Next 20 chapter. fucking years later. What's that? Ding, 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 ding. Dark premonition. Oh, shit. Kill? It appears to be a checkpoint. I can just kill them all. Really not gonna hassle. Yeah. This is my fault. The Vanguard's doing this to catch me. No, yeah, she's gonna try to escape again, and we're gonna be like, I remember the most stupidest character in the world. But I'm sure they'll be checking everywhere. They, they can't yeah, form a boundary. Throws a boulder, kills them all. Yes. Yes. Huh? Ah, uh, Dekus' thing. How does she have Dekus' thing? Um. What's that? It's an Iron Maiden. Mario, oh. Please get inside. Oh, that spikes in there. It's the same thing Dex has. Why do you have one of these? Let's use this torture you now. From Lesereno Mystic Supply, a subsidiary of the Lesereno Company. What? What? Excuse I me. myself, and Lesereno Mystic Supply wanted to collaborate. They sent me this as a sample. Excuse me. Dex said he got that thing by mail order. Just out of curiosity, when you say good luck charms, what sort of effects are we talking about? They say Being that if you put a hair from someone you love inside here, 765 days later, you'll find happiness Over together. Over two years? Persea, is there someone you have in mind? That is a secret. Oh, ha, ha. But why do you have this Iron Maiden with you? I brought it to Altamira so I could return their sample. But it was impossible with the city under Vanguard control. So I hid it in the bushes here. What a chance we go right back this bush. Mm. I can hardly believe I'm saying this. I think it's a path. Maybe you <laughs> should get inside this thing. What? But they'll know I'm in there the second they open the lid. Assuming they open the It'll lid. Be okay. All right. Oh good, we don't have to play that room anymore. Um, oh goody. Can I help you carry that? No, we, we got fine. it. Let's go. She's got it. Trust me, she's got it. Go? He's like, oh, all right, jeez, man, all right. We live in Ozette. May we pass? What's that you got with you? This is my Iron Maiden. It's a good luck charm. Would you like to arm wrestle? Inside, then. No, you. You'll be cursed. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. A terrible curse will befall you know, we just the wind blow it. What's this guy? I don't know. Uh, wish. Oh, oh, oh okay. okay. I was like, is he just, is he just gonna, just gonna go? First, you'll experience stomach churning sickness and diarrhea for 77 straight hours. Damn. Wow. Then, for the following 777 days, the King of Demons will appear and stick his finger up your nose every single day. Does he have better things to do than that? <laughs> but if you're right, <laughs> go ahead and open it and be cursed. <laughs> Think I'd fall for that? I understand. Please, the curse mm. is all yours. I don't mind. <sighs> Go ahead. No, that's okay. Go on through. Who falls for that? All right then. Did they hire soldiers who just recently had a lobotomy. That was most impressive, Presea. Presea. I was so worried he was gonna open it. Presea. Still racing. This Iron Maiden actually has an internal lid. To anyone who opens it normally, it will appear empty. Really? I had no idea. A dwarf named Altessa lives up ahead. We can mm -hmm. take refuge in his house. Okay. Altessa! Another <laughs> Iron Maiden. That's a cool title. I gotta see if it's better. Likeliness? Probably not. But. Let's see. Defense. Motherfucker. I'm gonna hit him right in the false bottom instead of nails. Oh. Instead of nails, it's filled with love. It is love. 
Is it not? Ah. I'm pretty sure it's genus with the penis. Oh, okay. This is Altessa's house. I assume that. So what's Altessa like? He's a dwarf, right? Is he like Dirk? You've met Dirk? Yes, uh, one time, yeah, literally yeah. long ago. You see. And Recap the on the four so seconds we met him. How you ended up with Sheena. But yeah. I wonder what Lloyd is trying to accomplish all by himself. It worries me. <sighs> oh, we know he's not killing people. Uh, no, not at all. I'm fine. <sighs> Complain. Sure? Do it. Do it. I will squirt lime juice in your eyes. <laughs> not his juice. I mean, literally. <laughs> Oh. Let's head in and meet Altessa. God, Altessa must be fucking tired of this shit by now. Like, fucking kid, bring him in the problems. Mystifying shit. <laughs> Breaking shit hard. What other yeah. sorts of good luck charms have you come up with? Soulmate shackles, hair today, hair tomorrow tonic, fess up ferns, the marry me wand. Hey, Aunt Flora had one of those. Anything else? An outfit that, despite having a bare midriff, never allows your skin to get cold, and also protects against enemy attacks. I call it Abyss? the Lonely Kyle. Oh, I've heard of that. That was a big hit, but then it faded fast, right? It was a tough sell. Was that everything? There was a mask that hid your face without actually hiding it, but still mysteriously prevented anyone from realizing your real identity. I called it the Judas Mask. I haven't heard of that one. Mm. It was stolen while still in development, and the project... Does that sound familiar to you? Mm. It was my proudest achievement. A real loss. You came up with all that stuff? You're incredible! Mm. And anyone else, uh... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I won't reveal it yet. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there nice. we go. Uh, look familiar to anybody? Mm. No one thinking about that? Because that's some sketchy shit, bro. That's some sketchy shit. I'll test off. his mask problem. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'll test off. There he is. Oh, wait. Hold up. Oh, that? I'm like... You're not from Altamira, right? No. I'm from Ozette. Where exactly is that? It's just yeah, not too the far other from side here. of the Garakia Forest, but only a handful of people live there now. Well, why is that? The town was got destroyed nuked. once. The land was never considered very desirable, and the village had a reputation for opposing the Church of Martell. So people have been reluctant to move back. That's terrible. However, my friends are helping out. I know the village will recover someday. Right now, mm. it's in no state for visitors, but I'll give you a tour someday. Yeah, I'd like that. I don't know, we still visited it when it was fucking blown up. And there's nothing but ash and cinders. And the grave of your own dead, decayed farther. That was pretty fucked yeah. up moment in Symphonia 1. Where, like, you found out her dad's been dead. And the bed. Like, like, decomposing the entire time. And they fucking show her after the mind control yeah. wears off. I was like, dude, that's fucked up. It's Persea. That's From fucked up. Set. Huh? Persea. And who's that you've got with you? Who's that you've got My with you? Lime in the coconut. Marta. Mm. That's right. Oh, Lime in the coconut. Pleased to meet you. These are all friends of Regal and Sheena. I see. So I see. You all the way out here. Do you like adding Altamira H's? Altamira has been occupied by the Vanguard. What? Oh. They've captured Regal. Sheena stayed behind in Altamira to rescue him. Sheena asked me to get these two out of the city and take them to a safe place. So you brought them here? Uh, yes. Yeah? I am planning on taking them to Mizuho. But I expect the Vanguard to be on high alert right now, so... I see. Well, you may stay here as long as you like. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Oh. God, they got now here fast. All that commotion outside? Mm. It could be the Vanguard. Let's go and see. Be a little surprising. Wait, us? Aren't they checking for us? Yeah. Are we, just gonna, are we gonna kill them if they are there? Yeah. Well, I'm down. So it is. Oh, so it's the same Iron Maiden from before. All right then, search this house. Hi, Magnar. Want to rematch? No, no. We beat the crap Magnar? out of him. Why is he here? Isn't he with the Church of? No, Martell? remember we just we just beat the crap out of him. It seems he was only pretending to be a Martell Knight. The incidents in Lewin and Paul Macosta were most likely part of an elaborate vanguard scheme to cast we, blame the we... Church of Martell. Yeah, we uh, knew this. Yeah, we knew this already. Marta, did you know Magnar was with the vanguard? I had no idea. 
Crisea? We can't stay here. We're putting Altessa in danger. Yes, that's true. Isn't that the front door? I'm going to. We've kicked his ass before. Yeah. We kicked his ass at level one. I'll uh, kick his ass at level 59. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Just oh, one oh, punch. Oh. Hello, man. <laughs> one punch, man. Lady Marta. So you finally given up. Excellent. Now you can return to your father in the vanguard. Oh, we can kill him. I won't allow that to happen. I intend to keep my promise to Sheena. What? A child like you is going to stop me? You'll regret meddling in the affairs mm. of the vanguard. Do you not remember how Emil was seconds away from decapitating you on a yeah. bench? None of that phases no, you? No. Alright, well, let's just... <sighs> let's show him that we're going to kill him again. Well, his backup soldiers are uh, still as like super tanky, but I, I imagine from the beginning they wouldn't just make them super weak. God, I love being able to air combo people. Like, they're just handling Lando. Let's see. Um, uh, that guy. Yes. No, that guy. Yes. All right, I'm, this time I'm going to spam circle. Spam yeah. and circle this time. Because you've seen, I've, hold, I've yeah. held it down. This time I'm hey, spamming. That's what's different, dude. But, I, but I've always held it down before. No. Well, that's going to kill the guy next to him, at least. <laughs> I guess that's the difference. Wow. Now. Still alive, yeah, he's, he's tanky. That's all he's got, but he's tanky. Oh, that's a cool move I've never seen before. <laughs> Lando's a little bit. Fine, I'll heal. Ugh. Yes, hero. God, he's just. Back, 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 back. Uh, I don't know why he suddenly decided to go after you. Let's just finish you off. Eisenhower. Isofawa! The Eisenhower. Aircraft carrier. Attack. Piece of the soul. <laughs> you dead, scrub. <laughs> you dead as fuck. <laughs> it's so weird when he has the crown and does it. It's, it becomes a joke. You're like, eh. Failed. Yeah, you're dead. Uh, yeah, you're dead. How do you think you would still win against us? And I was like, did you not see what we've done this Before entire time? to you? <laughs> we've killed millions. Our, our, our kill count has to be in the tens of thousands, minimum. I don't know, they're the kill or battle count. Battle the count, Vanguard yeah. invade Altamira? What are they trying to do? Even if you knew, there's nothing you could do to stop it. Just tell me. Commander Brute is planning to announce the revival of the Silverot Dynasty in Altamira. Weird. So what? The Tetha Allah's royal army will just go and crush them, and that's the end of that. Unfortunately, I don't think that's likely to happen in Altamira. The Lezareno Company's headquarters are located there. They'd have more than enough food and supplies to hold out for a long time. <laughs> that's right. And our supporters are staging revolts around the world as we speak. That should keep the royal army's hands full. Then, once we have Ratatosk's core, we'll use the mana cannon to give the Tetha Allens the divine punishment they deserve. Or I could kill you right now. What will that accomplish? It's the only way the Silveranti will be able to win against Tetha Allen's advanced civilization. We can't let our people be persecuted like half elves. They're not. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah, just show. Yeah. Not show into like uh, basements and shit. Yeah. We should head uh, for food's always looking good. We can. We'll be safe there. The giant flan. Yes. Giant flan. Yes, right there. That's not flan. I am you. It's not flan. You still it's a got ratatouille. Remember the banana cake? Before. The most important thing you can do right now is run. I understand. <laughs> or destroy. Them. You for sure do not understand. But what about Regal? Anyone in the entire world at Ram does not understand the fuck running away from the enemy means. I'm sure my friends will sort things out. Or we can just destroy them. Friends. 
Openings. Altessa, you should leave here as well. It's not safe. You don't need to worry about me. That old door for Diggy Ding Hole. I think I'll tie him up and keep an eye on him. Well then. But you'd best hurry to Mizoho as soon as you can. Yes. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be that hard to put the blade near his chest and then kick it in with full force. Yeah. As hard as we possibly could, just... Or bind his arms and legs and toss him in the water. Or rip off his fingernails and break his shins and then set him on fire. No. Fingernails burn. Your spirit seems but the rest well, is good. You, 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 don't, you don't do that even no, to the worst of enemies. Not, <laughs> I just... Are you worried about all those revolts Magnar was talking about? The bigger Vanguard becomes, the more it seems like it's turning into some rampaging monster. How yeah. How could something I helped create have gone so wrong? What should I do? That, I do not know. But Sheena said to make sure the two of you were taken to safety. I believe that means your safety is important to resolve these problems. She's right, Marta. Staying here and worrying about it won't give you answers. The only thing we know for sure is that we can't let them get rid of Tosk's Hint, course. hint. That means I ram don't be useless, bitch. Hmm? When I first met you, I was always the one trying to cheer you up. Now I'm the one with no confidence and you're getting stronger. Maybe, but it's only thanks to you and everyone else. I'll lend you my strength when you're feeling down. Neil. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright, but that'll be... Uh, the Mono Cannon. Really that powerful? Yes. Yeah. It was originally developed Are you to sure? the Tower of Salvation. I doubt there is any weapon more powerful. So we used it to do several things and it failed every time. When it threatened to destroy the world. It was Sheena's responsibility to fire the cannon. The giant tree that killed my mother. But was she still has the spirit, so she can fire it at any time. The cannon mm -hmm. must be immensely powerful. I mean, it toppled a tree that covered the entire world. Yes. It only such a weapon fell into the That was like what, two miles away from it? Mm -hmm. town or two. We'll never let something like that happen. Never. Oh, the most powerful weapon in the world. It stopped a world covering tree. It went two feet that way. <laughs> I can walk there. <laughs> Seriously. But that'll be it for this episode. My first subscriber, comment on the bottom. We'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Peace. Peace.